I'm Dump Truck DS. Welcome back to Mapping for Quake. This is another episode in my Progs Dump video series, and this time we're talking about breakables. I'm not the greatest coder, so I had a lot of help putting these in. First of all, the uh, built-in method is taken from the Rubicon 2 mod, which is a fantastic mod by Metal Slime on Funk Message Board. So we took that built-in method, but we also wanted to have the custom method that is from Arcane Dimensions. So QMaster helped me kind of integrate all that code in. So big shout out to QMaster for helping me get that off the ground. One thing about this video is that I made a bunch of mistakes. I, I sat down late at night to record this when I had some spare time, I was tired, and um, I hadn't done it you know, breakables in a while uh, for the mod. So I thought I knew what I was doing. So you'll see that I make some good mistakes, but I think that's actually a good thing to see me goof up. But uh, you know, it's, hopefully it just will keep you from making the same little mistakes that I made. So enjoy the video, I hope you get a lot out of it. If you have any questions, come see us in the Quake Mapping Discord in the Progs Dump channel. All right, this is the sample map PD Breakables. It's a tiny, tiny little map. It's very simple and very ugly, but it, it, it shows off the two different styles. So this is the custom style, and uh, it's a little bit more involved to set up, but you have a little more, you have a lot more options. So, uh, and how this works is you hit it, and these are basically little, tiny little map files. In this case, it's just one map file that's duplicated a few times. You'll see, you'll see how to do that in a sec. So there we go. Also, you're hearing a custom sound that's built into uh, Progs Dump, and it comes, the sound files come with it. And so there's a little booby trap that I made, and uh, there's a trigger up there. So you can trigger them, or you can just have them manually destroyed. All right, so then we go over here, and this is what I refer to as the built-in method of breakables. So uh, these are a little easier to set up, but not as many options, and in some cases not really a good fit for the texture you're using. But that was kind of close enough for government work, so I'll, I'll explain how these work. But these are model files, or this is a model file with three different skins. The default is green, then there's also red and concrete. Later down the line, I'm going to add more uh, textures to this. I just haven't got to that yet. I'm not really too hip on modeling, so I need to uh, practice that a little bit before I add those. So now we're here in Trench Room, I'm gonna show you how to set those two up, and then after that, I'm gonna show you how to do uh, your own custom debris models, or the little map files. So first of all, built in, I made these bars, I right click, uh, create brush entity, funk, breakable. So this is the sound file I'm using. And whenever you use a sound in Quake mods, uh, you don't use the word sound in the path. So this is under sound slash break slash and then the file name. So I've included a few of those sound files as I mentioned. And uh, there is a default sound, it's not that great. It's like the spawn hitting sounds, monster hitting sounds, kind of a, kind of a thud, like a, a wet thud sound. It's not always ideal, but I did want to have some kind of just built-in thing and to make it really simple. If you wanted this to explode, let's say you wanted to make a, a box that explodes or some kind of thing that exploded, you just use a spawn flag for that. Uh, there's also no monster damage explosion, like I say. And then we're going to get to this in a second. Use custom models or BSP. I'm sorry, use custom models or BSP models. But anyway... The default style, the style is what you concern yourself with on this uh, built-in method. And so basically, again, green, red, and concrete. And that's what you'd choose. I just left it to the default and super easy to make this. So now the kind of what we call the custom version. You make your brush as you normally would, but then there are a few more key values that you have to deal with. But it gives you a lot of options. So let's just take a look at these up here. You've got break template and break object count and those work together so basically there are four template keys and four count keys you don't have to use them all in this case i'm only using one slot let's call them a slot basically so what this means is i'm going to use this bsp as my debris and i'm going to spawn four of those break template one break object count one work together 
and then two and two and three and three and so on up to four so you can have four different things spawning as many debris pieces as you want so we're only using one bsp and it's spawning four times per breakable this one i actually even upped it to five here now i mentioned the spawn flag before this is how you differentiate between the built-in method and the custom method, you just set this spawn flag and it'll be looking for these. And it will give you an error, your map will not load if you don't have these paths set up correctly. So just double check your paths in your mod directory and make sure those are in there. And then again, this is the custom sound that plays. And um, if there's no noise one, it'll default to um, that stupid monster sound. <laughs> The built-in method obviously has limitations, so we want to create custom debris that matches this texture. So the texture's name is COPI2, copy two. So I have a new map, I have the wad loaded, and I'm gonna delete this brush. I'm gonna highlight the texture, I've got the texture loaded up here. I'm gonna go to the origin of the map and just make a little square. I'll go down to a smaller grid size so I can work a little bit, I'll use the edge mode. and. So now you want this right at the origin. You want it centered on the origin of the map. I'm gonna save this in my maps folder under debris, just to be consistent. I have some other uh, maps and you know, other BSPs in there. So I'm gonna save that there. I'm gonna make a couple of these. We're gonna use, let's use a few of the slots. So I'm gonna save as, and then I'll call this um, underscore two. So I've saved that. And I'll save one more. We'll do three slots. Now I'm going to compile these. And you obviously can't run this map, but you do need to compile them. And one thing that's helpful on these maps is that you should add a light key. So I'm going to add a light key to this one, and then I won't add it to the other one so we can take a look and see how it looks. I'm going to just call it uh, 75. Uh, save that. And I'm going to go ahead and compile these. All right, so now I'm in my debris folder. So it's uh, under my mod folder and maps debris. And you can see I have my three different compiled uh, little BSPs based on these maps here. So let's let's go ahead and go into the into trench broom. You don't want it to be one giant breakable, so you gotta bake it in pieces. I've made these all funk breakables and let's go ahead and, and we're gonna treat them all the same. So, and then I'll just tweak each different one. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do uh, maps debris and then uh, what is the name <laughs> copy two dot bsp so that's our first one and i'm going to make all these templates first so i'm going to copy and paste these and i'll use the second one for that and i'll use the third one for this one and then for each of those i'm just going to do let's let's just start with one each so object count one, object count two, and object count three each have one of those pieces. But remember all of these, so we're gonna have, oh my gosh, how many do we have? Let's, uh, let's see, there's six. So we're gonna have uh, 18 pieces total. Oh, it's not showing up, they're not showing up. Okay, so that did not work. I made some error here. Oh, I know exactly what I did wrong. <laughs> All right, so I just compiled it and I realized I forgot the spawn flag. I need to set the custom spawn flag here. So this little sliver was kind of sticking out because we missed it. So what I did was I combined those two together. And what I did was I, I made it structural, which takes it, you know, takes the funk away from it and just makes it world spawn. So if I select the brush that's not the funk and then I control click and select a different funk, I can right click and move the brushes to that entity. So now this will act as one. And you can see we didn't like that. <laughs> Look how huge that thing is. So yeah, I made that thing way too big because I'm just realizing it was like 56 units and 40 on one side. It wasn't even paying attention. All right, so that's kind of small. Let me uh, snap these verts to integer and snap them to grid. 
so that we are golden. All right, so what I've done is I've gone back through and I've scaled down those pieces of debris and I changed the light key on each one of them to about 85. And this is the this is the problem with this custom method is there's a lot of tweaking involved. So I made three pieces of debris. Each one of them are, have a light value of 85. They're small, roughly 16 uh, by eight, and you know, different kind of different dimensions, but they're on the small side. So I learned that lesson earlier. And um, we got the lighting right and everything. And what I've also done is I've consolidated a couple more of these so that there's just one piece here and one piece here. So there's four pieces total that are breakable. Even though there's different pieces of the brushes, they're parts of different funk breakables. Occasionally I see this bug here and it's just unfortunate because that piece of uh, fell on another piece of geometry and it kind of froze in midair. There's got to be a way to fix that. So we will work hard and see what we can do about that. But it does happen from time to time and you might be able to construct your breakables in a way to, where it doesn't do that. This is a big giant piece door that I'm breaking. So custom breakables, it's not exactly perfect, but uh, I don't know, it gives you some, gives you some other options. All right, that's enough of this episode. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.